something happening here But what it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware I think it's time we stop Children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down um, Unfortunately, as a uh, Represent Reed Shaw and I both uh, met the, uh, the stone walls that have been erected with our legislation. Um, these bills have not been um, even called up for a hearing um, in the uh, state government committee and other committees that uh, have access to some of this legislation that's been introduced from our national security begins a home package. Um, but uh, we will be pushing forward to to try and uh, force the hand of those uh, chairmen that uh, want to become that want to be obstacles to moving substantive reform type legislation like this forward, we'll be working together in a bipartisan manner to try and push this out of committees in the future. Um, excuse me, I'd like to uh, introduce Mrs. Kathleen Appel, Media Coordinator, Citizens for Immigration Control and Enforcement in Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Kathleen Appel from the uh, Pennsylvania's for Immigration Control and Enforcement, and on behalf of our group and the members, thousands of members of groups who work with across the country, including You Don't Speak For Me, which is a group of his, uh, Latinos who are opposed to illegal immigration. I want to start by thanking Representative Metcalf and all his supporters for their leadership. Um, the dire state of our economy has prompted everyone, from the Treasury Secretary to the local bank clerk, to ask how this happened, and today, most Americans are looking to Congress and asking why they allowed it to happen. We also have reached the tipping point with illegal immigration, not only in this country, but in this state, because we're now considered, which is a joke among those who enforce the laws, as a de facto sanctuary state. Um, so more than ever, people in Pennsylvania, law-abiding people in Pennsylvania, are asking why of the following. We want to ask any Pennsylvania legislator who does not support the National Security Begins at Home package why they choose to violate their sworn oath of office and not uphold our laws. We'd like you to ask the media, present company excluded, um, why uh, they, the media, and the elected official, the legislators, who ridicule people like Representative Metcalf and others who are trying to pass this legislation, yet simultaneously cover up for the legislators who are complicit in aiding and abetting illegal aliens. Um, and to give meaning, you've all heard about jobs Americans won't do. Well, it's come down to the true meaning is the attorney general, district attorneys, and police chiefs ask them why those most entrusted to uphold our laws are, in most cases, the ones who are most guilty of violating the law and also ask why illegal aliens are all too often exempt from the very same laws we and they are bound to obey. Ask newspaper editors and reporters why they cover up the news versus covering the facts surrounding this invasion, the crimes, and I have to give Representative Metcalf and his staff uh, great credit for what they did because I happen to have binders, multiple three-ring binders, of crimes, horrible, vicious crimes committed across the country. Because the government keeps them as classified, I have reporters calling me who want to do in-depth stories about the crimes that are committed, but their editors won't let them do it unless they have numbers and statistics to back it. It's very, very difficult to get it. So in addition to the 3,100 crimes that Representative Metcalf has listed, there's thousands and thousands more and over a million sexual assaults that have been committed on Americans by illegal aliens. Um, I want you to ask, your, ask groups who, are, who conceal their true motives by attaching the misnomer American in front of their name, such as the ACLU, why they aggressively file lawsuits on behalf of illegal aliens, yet thwart the efforts of any American who attempts to resolve this illegal alien invasion. Ask the unions, who are founded for the reason of protecting American workers from unfair employment practices, why they're up here actively recruiting, they actively recruit illegal aliens and they're up here lobbying 
with legislators who are sitting up there who are not passing legislation that would uphold our law. Ask the U.S. Chamber of Commerce why they actively oppose any legislation that would prohibit American employers from hiring illegal aliens. And ask religious organizations, this is really important, ask religious organizations why they march for the rights of illegal aliens, yet I've never seen one religious group show up at the funeral of the thousands of Americans who have died at the hands of illegal aliens. And ask your neighbors why discounted lawn service and house cleaning is more important than obeying our laws. And ask further why they think that I should pay for the social services provided to them so that they can get cheap labor. We're past the stage with the legislators that aren't standing here on the steps with the Representative Metcalf of asking chairman, an example, the chairman of the state government committee, why, who hold these bills in committee. We pay our taxes to have these legislators draft these bills, and then the game playing begins and the special interest steps in, and they hold them in committee. And we don't think it's a game anymore. We're being invaded. We're taxed over $189 million a year. The crimes are escalating. And we want to ask them why the special interest groups are more important than the interest of the citizens of Pennsylvania. And for the one chairman who professed to be working arduously on illegal immigration and produced a one-inch thick bound booklet that my tax dollars paid for, as his proof that he was working on this, he failed to let us know that the only participants exclusively, the hearing was limited to illegal, act illegal alien activists. Um, so the game playing's over, and the answers as to why our economy is such a crisis, that's going to have to come from Washington, and the answers are, and, the, and it's convoluted. The answer to why all those noted, the legislators, the unions, the churches, the police, the district attorney, the attorney general, <clears throat> the answer to why all of those noted failed to uphold their sworn duty and our laws, it's not convoluted. We know the answer, and the answer isn't pretty. So in closing, we the taxpayers ask Pennsylvania legislators who are sitting up there, um, who have not yet supported the National Security Begins at Home package, we ask them one question, why not?